think it doesn't really matter if you have the armband on your your arm. To, to be honest, for me, if you're a captain, you're a captain. If you're a leader, you're a leader. Regardless of the band on your arm, we we know Harry's one of our leaders, and he's been one of our leaders for a very very long time. We see as the armband at England, and he's the official captain. But in terms of this place, he's always felt like a captain, along with Hugo and along with a couple of other players as well. And um, I think it's important for Harry to to feel that because I think his performances this season have been have been of a standard that I'm not sure he's reached yet. Um, I think they've been incredible, not just the goals, but the overall performances throughout the season have just been remarkable for this football club. Um, but then also I'm happy that I see him speak out the other day on things that he wants to be in place going forward for this football club because it's important that our best players drive and push for for certain things so um yeah we we feel good about harry Like I, I've, pr I've remained pretty consistent throughout these last couple of weeks, and I, I probably always would be that I really don't see the positives in looking to next season or the following seasons because ultimately you need to get results now. You need to create a certain feeling now. That's the most important thing. We know Harry is one of our captains. He's one of our leaders. We have others, um, and hopefully that. Hopefully Hugo can contribute like he's been contributing for the last two or three weeks with me in charge as well because we need him. Uh, I've said he's, he's important, he's still important, he's, he's injured, yes, but he's, he's got such an important role for this football club towards the end of the season and um, we need everyone. Oh, it's good. Like I say, I, I back him. Um, I think what he's said is right. Um, and that's one thing I think you probably can speak about the future in terms of creating a culture, standards, an environment that that's right for the football club. Um, fans should be excited about Harry Kane. They should be excited to come and watch him play um, now because, honestly, I say it all the time, we've, we've got a special player with us and we need to appreciate him because... He's a, he's a top, top, top player. And our focus, I'll say it again, is until the end of the season. I'd be very, very naive, and I don't think I'm in a p position to really start commenting on pre-season and next season because ov obviously that's, a, that's an area that is probably a little bit uncertain at the moment in terms of the man managerial position. Yeah, he's a professional, um, and he's responded how I expected him to respond and how I would expect any one of the squad players to respond in, in a professional manner and understand that sometimes you have to make difficult decisions for the team um, and like I say he come on and he contributed to the three points he, he had a, an important role in a couple of set pieces and he was ready to help the team so um, as I expected. No, I think that's an absolute myth. Um, I've never heard that, but if you're saying that, then it's not true. My job is to pick a team that I feel is best capable of winning a football match. Um, so it's, it's not a case of having friends. Um, and that was clear two years ago, and that's, that's clear now. I'm in a position where I need to do a job to the best of our abilities with, with my coaching team and um, with professionals. We're professionals in in this building, so every decision we make is at the, the best interest of the team and the football club.
Yes, and of course, football football can change very, very quickly. Um, but it's important that you stay consistent in in what you are and who you are. And I think when you do that, we see in the Premier League now that there's so many teams working in a good way that it's difficult. It's, it's tough to always arrive at the top and compete in at the top all the time. Maybe there's one team that have done it consistently in the last sort of five or six years, um, one or two teams, shall I say. But it's important that we understand that, yeah, we, we need to work, we need to believe, we need to, to stay consistent and be who we want to be and stick to who we want to be. And then football can change so, so, so quickly. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm part of this football club now and it's my responsibility to to transfer a certain energy and create a certain culture in this time. Listen, I don't think it's as bad as everyone's thinking and as everyone's saying it is. Absolutely not. We're a strong football club. We're a big football club with big players, with top players. We have a lot to be successful and a lot to be excited about. So I'm not doom and gloom. Um, definitely not. I'm optimistic about this club. I believe I believe in the group. I believe in the club. I believe that there's, there's many people here that want to make it right and want to put it right and, and be good. Um, obviously, it's been a difficult season for us. It's, it has been quite up and down. I think some of it's probably been self-conflict self it's, it's, been, it's come from within at times which probably shouldn't happen but listen we're, we're not in a bad position as, as some people might think we're we're in a good position and, and hopefully we can kick on and uh, be successful Yeah, I think when we talk about respect, um, I think respect is earned and everyone needs to earn everyone's respect in every moment. That's not just me. That's not because I played with a group of some of some of the players. I played with them and they naturally respect me. That's that's not the case. Um, I earn my respect and I expect everyone in these walls to to respect each other and be working together for the football club. That is the most important thing um, of any football club that Every member of staff is valued um, because there's so many people here that put a lot of hours and a lot of energy into Tottenham Hotspur um, and they need to feel part of something. Um, and certainly that's the best situation for the club. I've always said that I, I, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for this moment. I feel like I can I can help the club. Um, that's my general feeling, um, and I'll stay true to that. That's been my feeling ever since the club trusted me to to take on this responsibility. Um, obviously, you mentioned Eddie Howe, who's a, an incredible manager. He's an inspiration. Um, I think one probably not speaking about a great deal as well is Gary O'Neill. The job that he's done, um, gone under the radar a little bit, but a young English manager in his first job. I think if you take three or four managers out the top of the table in terms of the overall season, he's, he's probably done one of the best jobs this season. So hats off to him. He's someone also that inspires me because he's, he's young, it's his first job and he's done incredibly well. So um, listen, anyone sitting in this type of position will, will believe and have full faith that they can have a positive imp impact. Thanks, Dan. Finish with George, please.
vous plaît. Yeah. The results is the main focus, but I understand that results come off the back of a lot of other things um, that contribute to that. Probably what we didn't have two years ago was fans in the stadium, which can sometimes change the feeling, change the the energy at times. Um, but no, I, I'll say it again that it's important that any football club is consistent in what they are, how they operate, how they work. And that's my general feeling. Uh, yeah, I think so for me and probably in a very, very similar position now. Um, I know in 21, when that final game at Leicester was finished, um, I knew everyone inside of these walls knew how we worked, knew who we were and what we stood for. And I think any coaching team is probably one of the most important things to have an identity and, and know who you are. And I'm sure in two and a half weeks time, uh, our last game away at Ellen Road, regardless of what happens, results on the pitch, everyone inside of here and hopefully the fans, our fans understand who we are um, and what we are as a coaching team and where we feel like in this moment in time Tottenham should be. Um, no, he's just scored a lot more goals and he's a better player. Um, honestly, I was having the same questions two years ago and similar answers that Harry just keeps turning up, putting in top performances and scoring goals. And yeah, we see a, a more mature and a better Harry Kane now than what we see two years ago. I'm not sure. In football, it's, it's hard to predict what will happen. Um, we don't know what will happen. We don't we really don't. But what I do know is that the last two and a half weeks and the next two and a half weeks, me and my coaching team will be doing all we can to, to do a good job for this football club. No, it's not my job to sit here and talk about speculation for managers next season. I'm in a position now where it's my responsibility now um, and it's my full responsibility to, to focus on the team. So what happens in the summer will happen. Um, I'm not going to waste any energy thinking or, or sort of commenting and speaking about speculation. Sorry. I'm not sure. I've never been in that situation, so very, very difficult for me to to really answer that one. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers.